सो हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो ऑन द कस्टम रोम फॉर रेडमी नोट टेन प्रो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डूइंग अ रिव्यू फॉर द सी आर ड्रॉइड नाइन पॉइंट टू लास्ट अपडेट फॉर दिस ईयर ऑफ दिस रोम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन रेड मेनली एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन सो आई विल बी गोइंग टू इन द डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस रोम सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट डजेंट रियली कॉस्ट यू एनी थिंग बट इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी टू मेक ऑसम कॉन्टेंट फ्रॉम यू so without wasting a further ado let's get started with the video so guys first of all i want to share the what do you say what the details we are getting it is based on which is switch in and what 13 is mainly its main part which is super smooth in this room and i will be telling about how smooth it is in 13 13 versus comparison to 12 you get the 5th december security update with the august weather update and the kernel version is sigma kernel which is good and the build date is set December 17 after all that i would like to talk about um, generally wifi internet setting wifi internet setting all are working all around fine in the apps you are getting the cr droid launcher in the default apps you can see that the icons you can select, customize it from here home screen layout you can see it from here like you can enable hot seat background it will automatically gets changed whenever you uses that let's it that screen automatically gets turned off and whenever you open that you get that hot seat background but i don't like that hot seat background so i generally disabled if you select the themed icon and if i just go to in the what do you say wallpaper and style and select the themed icon and you can see that it is working all around fine apart from that every customization is there you can enable use taskbar and here from here you get a taskbar and sometimes it does not work so i will not recommending it you to work for that apart from that in the apps you have done with it in the thermal profiles this roam's thermal profiles i haven't checked and it is not performing well so i have just disabled that also and in the display option you can see that there is no aod option is also there but it always shows that always show and time info so you can see that it is working all around fine so you are not getting any such issues on this part and you can see that peak refresh rate and when i am currently now operating on the 120 hertz refresh rate and you can see that the how smooth is it apart from that everything in the security option you get the more fingerprint and face unlock and it all the things were working around in this built after that in the open goodness what do you say see our right settings in the what i encounter bug like if i just uh, in network and traffic monitor whenever i use that you can see that in the status bar it is seen if i just quick status bar and you can see that it is not written there so i don't know why it is not showing up but yeah it's not showing to me and everything is working in this setting these settings i'm not going up full in depth things of this re review but i would like highly tell you about that all the settings setting that is working i will going to cover that all the things in the pixel animation you get the inverse layout in the buttons option you get the partial screenshot from here like if i just what do you say if i just do this and you can see that you can take the partial screenshot from here so that is working all around fine sorry in the navigation already done buttons you can you have already seen those things and apart from that user interface is also the ambient display same things here here full screen apps you can manage and the monet settings you can do it at your own but you can now use monet settings on the android 13 also so if you if you like that then you should use this and you can see that that it is working fine so monet is working all around fine and you can see that the icon shape and that is way good than other reticker option is there and you can use app colored background what do you say user interface app colored background is also been there you can see that that is working all around fine heads up is there and that is were working fine so you can enable unlock higher fps in games netflix spoof is also been there and you can do parallel space now you can create a parallel space one and according to i will show you how to create that parallel space in this custom room it will takes few minutes or what you say time let me tell tell that i am just making a youtube space one and now from here you can see that the another youtube has been created so it will totally depend on you what kind of, like if i generally make the netflix duplinger and you can see that it is working so those things were working you can create unlimited 
once and this is all for this in uh, this part in the systems you get the system profiles you can manage it from here in the updater you get the updater but i would highly going to recommend that you have need to flash it via manually after that let me tell you about the gestures option as all the settings is there i'm not going in that part these you can arrange because it creates your time wasting and not getting so much things and it i i am requesting you guys if you found that video helpful then please consider subscribe because i am making videos at many at many efforts so you can see that app languages is also been there you can see that app languages few app languages is supported is here so i think in the next few build it will get the more app supported so now this is all done from the settings now i am going to in the benchmark results that i have took and this all were not surprisingly so good but yeah this what do you say this is without any thermal profiles i have took you get the 85% max performance which is run for 15 minutes after that i have again took for 15 minutes but now this time the thermal profiles is enabled and it is has 83% max performance this is okay now you get a netflix also and in the netflix you can see that the playback specifications you get the full hd and the l1 certification is there and you can also run hdr in this option you get also see the dear l1 support is there it is a safety net status test and it's passed the charge i'm not happy with the charging guys i want to share that i'm not happy with the charging so if you are thinking that the charging is super cool then no it's not super cool and this is the as usual normal score of what do you say and to and i don't like this this is the pretty impressive score of geekbench 1531 and 1605 and you get the call recording option is also in this room so it is a full packet room apart from that now i would i'm going to tell about what's my uh, recommendation to you i think that you should use this room because you can see that every uh, apps working flawlessly over this 120 hertz and no bugs that sort of i encountered the battery life is also good you can use that but the charging of 33 watt is not so good so you have to check for that also because i generally took that and you can see that from 17 to 50 was in vmail 35% it took 28 minutes it's not too good but yeah you can use this and everything is all fine you can get that and i have flashed it by a basic g apps package so you can do consider a rush type of package you want and if you try to flash pixel launcher in it it will not get flash so don't try to do that the rom does not boost after flashing the both zip file of the rom and g apps you need to do a format data it otherwise it will boot but play store does not work so it would be highly recommended to use that so guys this is all for now of my review and if you really like the video then please consider to subscribe and nothing more to say so still then bye bye